<laughs> hey everyone! Hey guys! It's Danny and Bob and Johnny, Johnny. and Isaac and all the kids. Welcome to our channel! It is yeah. a Saturday morning, right? It's Saturday morning. I don't even know what time it is, guys. We have a crazy, fun, exciting video for you guys today. Yeah. Today we are celebrating... Our 40,000... 40,000... Oh, Isaac has my hair. And 200 subscribers. Now it's 40,200, but we are so, so, so... Oh, they're, oh. they're gone now. <laughs> so we are so excited to be celebrating this, guys. It yes. is a huge milestone. It hasn't even been a year that we've had yeah. our channel open. So thank you guys so, so much. For loving us. Yeah. And for and watching care. our videos <laughs> yeah. and caring about our children and just all of our adventures here. So guys, thanks to one of our favorite subscribers, her yeah. and her daughter decided to send us some money to our PayPal so that we can make like a huge feast for the kids. Yeah. She asked like, what's the meal the kids love the most that they haven't had in a long time? <laughs> and of course that is... We missed to roast the gods. Yes, so. <laughs> definitely. With some plantain roasted on the barbecue. So shout out to you. Thank you so, so much for making this happen for us. Yeah, thank you so much. So that's what we're doing today. So yeah, today, like we mentioned, we are heading to get uh, our goat. Yeah. You know, it's not that easy, but... Guys, we're, we're far away in a village. Yeah, so we're going to try to make it happen. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have amazing yeah everything so guys there's no supermarkets here <laughs> no so if if we want to get some meat we're gonna have to buy a goat yeah and, and we need uh, to drive up far from here so hopefully it's not gonna take too long but guys we're gonna show you this process like from the start to the finish and we're hopefully gonna have some fun in the middle yeah so if you want to see us attempt to roast a whole goat stay for like 50 <laughs> people stay tuned yeah all right guys we are at the farm as you can see, our goat house, pigs, cows. So we just dropped our goat off yeah. so they can like repair it and stuff. We're not gonna do that at the house. But guys, it took us about two hours to find this goat. And yeah, hours. it was so long drive though, like from 10 to 12. Yeah, now it's 12. So we've lost a little bit of time. Um, it was much harder to find this goat than we thought. We probably should have like figured it out during the week. Yeah. But we didn't think like on the weekend it would be difficult. Oh well, <laughs> we were on a mission. We were not going to stop, and we did find the goat. And we already yeah. dropped it here, so yeah. And so we've um, dropped it here. Our farmers here and the vet are going to be dealing with that. We definitely don't want to do that at the house. And hopefully in about an hour, 45 minutes maybe, we'll come and pick we'll it up. up yeah. So while we're waiting for this, we're going to go to the market. We have Chefy here and Claude, who's busy on the phone. And, and Remy is staying <laughs> and here. And Remy right? is staying here to like just supervise the yeah, everything. The and he's gonna let us know when they're finished. So uh, yeah, and also we we didn't want to like, rug that when you're like doing yeah. things with a god. No. Yeah. <laughs> People are like not used to this. I mean, obviously in the village you don't have like a grocery store where you can go and buy meat. Yeah. This is how you do it here. But just you know, for the sake of keeping things nice and PG. We're just gonna not vlog that. So now but we are heading at the market because we still have to buy more seasoning and matoke. We have to buy some vegetables for like the sauce. Yes, and the, plantain. Yeah, plantain. So guys, we haven't done plantain in a really long time. Yeah. Like the prices got so, so high, but we're just gonna, we're gonna find it. We're gonna go all out today. Yeah, it's just and, because um, it's from an, another place. Yeah. We don't have that a lot of plantain here yeah. in Nicaragua, so that's why sometimes mm -hmm. According to seasons, the price goes high. So we're gonna definitely try and find enough for all the kids. Because we're doing it on the barbecue, we wanna get like the bigger ones because the smaller ones aren't so good on the barbecue. Yeah. But yeah, we're so excited. And you can be still doing plantain while we're waiting for the goat. Yeah, we'll just start preparing and then whenever Remy calls, we'll go pick up the goat, yeah. start doing that. And we're hoping, I know we say this every video that we <laughs> make like a dinner, but we're hoping to get this done before it gets dark. Yeah. That's that's the goal for today. Let's see if we can do it. We're gonna try to make it. <laughs> we're gonna so try. All we, all we do, like, we're gonna divide all the kids into the groups. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, it takes a short time to, yeah. like, to do that. So we're gonna have our barbecuers, we're gonna have our cutters, we're gonna have our plantain people. Yeah, like, and like, everything. And the people they put like uh, meat on us. Uh, yeah. Like, and we're also gonna try and find some avocados just to have like as a side. Yeah. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It's been a while since we had shish kebab, right? Yeah, and that's what you like. Time. Maybe we can do that. Yeah. So guys, we're off to the market. 
Oh, and today was a, uh, the last Saturday of every month. <laughs> yeah. Is what's what's it called? Uh, Commonwealth. Com no, I mean it in your mind. Uh, Omoganda. So yeah. um, what we do like every last Saturday of the month, there's a community work that we call Omoganda, where like, all the people gather according to the community and like try to fix the road, try yeah. to fix like a public property that we're in. Yeah. Just in case, like, I mean, to making like unity for the for the people. Yeah. Okay, we have arrived at the, the market, market, and my gosh, it's hot. So there's not too much plantain here, but we are gonna try and find something. We might have to find it in like a few different places. Yeah. Do you like the car? Yeah, I rock. You have like um, uh, vegetables at home? I don't think so. Usually on Saturday we buy vegetables. Okay. So. Let's buy it. what we need like for this meal and then we can always come back for <sighs> So you're gonna go get vegetables and then we're gonna go shit about the class up there. All right, I'll go with okay. Chefy To get the vegetables you go with Claude to get the plantain All right, come Chefy All right, so you know what vegetables we need right to make this sauce? Yeah. What do we need tomatoes? Yeah. Onion. 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 What else? Onion. All right. So go and figure that out. Yeah. So I think we're just gonna get the vegetables we need for dinner. We've already cooked lunch, and then for tomorrow we'll just come back here again and get what we need for lunch and dinner. These tomatoes are big today. Whoa! Look at this. That's huge. But the smaller ones are probably tastier, like the small red ones. How many kilograms do you think? Mm, I'm not sure, you're the chefy. Like a kilo for the sauce? It's just for sauce, right? What else are we gonna use it for? It's only the sauce. For the, but for the matoke and for the vegetables. You get what you think, I'm a trust in you. Yes, well. So we don't have choice, and only one matoke. There's only one? It's 8,000, so. So we're gonna have to try and find. We're gonna try to get it. So, yeah. so we're gonna get this one and then try and find another one, maybe in our center they have? Maybe we can where we're passing. Yeah, all right, so we're gonna get this one, guys. It's 8,000. It's about half of what we need. Look at you, you're so strong. <laughs> I'm getting hungry, Ba. We're gonna eat. <laughs> yeah, we have leftovers, so last night, we cooked chips and like some fried vegetables. It was so good. So we have leftovers. What do we need to do? So Chef is getting, we're just doing the sauce. So we're getting some onions, mm -hmm. tomatoes, pepper. some pepper. celery yeah, and green pepper. Does she have green pepper? Mm. The green pepper here does well, not look so. Red pepper. It changed the color. Maybe ask her, we can try and find it somewhere else. Yeah, oh, another time, probably. Alrighty. Oh, and charcoal, Ba. Mm. We need charcoal for the barbecue. Yeah, I see they usually have it over there. Let's go and see. Ooh, there's some like red chili peppers here. These look spicy. So over here is usually where they have, as you can see, the charcoal. How much food do we need? Well, we're cooking the whole goat and the matoke on the barbecue. Oh, yeah. They get for 3,000? I think so. We can always uh, get more. So we're going to get charcoal yeah, for 3,000. Right. Yeah, we're cooking right. everything right. today on the yeah, barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, when we said the prices were increasing, we were not kidding. This is what we mean. This thing here, what do we have? Two kilos of tomatoes, yeah. half a kilo of onion, Three green pepper and a little bit of celery, guys, was how much? 4,800. 4,800, that's about $4. And I know probably for those of you <laughs> living in the money. States, you're like, you guys are crazy, that's not expensive. But for here, I want to say like even six months ago, it would have cost like 2,000. So everything is increasing. But it does look pretty. All right, Claude, you want to put it in the car? Are you tired, Claude? <laughs> it looks like Claude was awake all night. Oh, hungry. Me too. Me too. But I think lunch will be ready by the time we get home. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're paying. As you can see, Mr. Bob is paying. We've now finished to pay. Mm -hmm. uh, as, we, as we mentioned, we still have to go get more plantain. I'm worried we're not going to find And it. avocados, but we're not sure because this is like a main market when yeah. they don't have a lot of matok sometimes, Why which, am is, I walking here? which is the sign of. <laughs> We might not getting more to, dif to different places, so we're gonna try our best 
heading to my mom's village and go to the our center and next door house. Hungry. Hopefully we're gonna we're get something. Hungry. The boys are hungry, we're hungry. It's about one o'clock now. I'm getting a little bit nervous with the time. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> but uh yeah, no, I'm hopeful. Hopefully Once we have the goat, it. we can start. We have the charcoal, we have the charcoal's in the car, right? The charcoal's guys? in the car, yeah. Right. So most of the things we was waiting for so long was good. Yeah. But we finally did it. And uh, if we can get more matoke or plantain, whatever you call yeah. it, we're gonna try to use what we have or some potatoes on the side. Yeah, so yeah, that's and, the plan. Uh, it, we're gonna look quickly, not waste too much time, try and find more plantain. If we can't, we're gonna go home, feed these boys, and start with the plantain that we do have. Yeah. And have someone maybe go and look around. Or use the potatoes. Or we can use potatoes. Yeah, yeah we can do like a piece of plantain. And, and as you can see, it's hot. It's not that easy, it's so we're really, trying. Really hot today okay, it's hot camera. so we're in the center right now as you can see and we're gonna drive where are we gonna go first to our to, center to my mom's to your mom's room. center yeah. that's a good idea because that then we'd be on the way on the way back yeah all right and that's the deal and guys look how much they have done this <laughs> week with the road oh but they remember this place was in like was open, not, there was no rod. Yeah, guys, okay. this this is all this week. They've put what is it called? Asphalt? What is it? I don't know. It. It, whatever <laughs> this black thing is, they put on the road. We call it covering, but you know. <laughs> so that, <laughs> and they've put all here and all the way down. All the way closer to our house. They have done so much this week. The yeah. only downside was they like completely closed off this road. <laughs> And we, you know, go every day to the nursery, so we had to drive, like, do a 10-minute detour around just to get to the nursery. Yeah. It's not too convenient, but what can you do? Nothing else. But hopefully <laughs> soon they'll be past our part, and then they won't even be building yeah. here anymore. They'll just be continuing because down. Because there is a, there's a bridge that is they're making worse because it, it is next to the marshland. Yeah. All the time they try to fix it, and, and um, the water comes a lot. Yeah. And, take the bridge out again so yeah that bridge fell down so many times i'm surprised someone hasn't really like hurt themselves yeah that's what that's i remember why a few months ago someone was on the bridge on a bicycle <laughs> when it fell down remember yeah. but and they now, managed to get him out and now that's the only thing that i tried to fix it yeah hopefully very soon and guys fix. that's mama bob's house that one nah. over there with the the one next to the yellow one. I don't know how to explain it, guys. We did make a video, that, if you want to see. With that gray yeah. color, so. We made a video where we went to visit Mom and Bob, spent like the afternoon with her and Joni. Yeah. So check that out. And now we're going into Mom and Bob's village, which is Bidud. I'm gonna turn around here this We night. don't really go here that much. <laughs> yeah, we don't. And it seems like we're not gonna be going here now because there's absolutely nothing. <laughs> Look I, guys. I, I can't even see that from nothing. Far was nothing. I mean, usually they have like tables here on the yeah, sides. Okay, so now we're gonna go to our center. Look, absolutely nothing. Oh my gosh, no. So th the main is there. Yeah. Oh, it's there. Nothing. It's just a banana. Yeah. Oh, there's like one little. Yeah. And no one's even there anyway. So. There's like three bananas. <laughs> Do we turn around here? Oh no, guys! The kids are all here. These are our sponsored kids, and uh, they're all writing a letter for their sponsors. We decided that's just something we do, like at the end of every month. The month so they can do and they the do it together. Yeah. And the bigger kids are helping the younger kids, and it's really, really great. So if you guys sponsor our kids, be expecting a letter soon. <laughs> so we want to just kind of show you what they're doing. Who has a letter they want to show? Fabrice. All right, let's see. That is very nice, and he even drew a little drawing. <laughs> yeah. So we want to update you guys. We have 36 children in our house that we care for, and as of this week, we have one more child that's sponsored. So we have 21 children in total, in total yeah. that are sponsored. Uh, we do have two children of the 36 that are children of one of the mothers in our house. Yeah. So they're not here all the time, but we'd love to have them sponsored so they can just be here all the time. Yeah. So guys, we're really, really hoping that we can get the rest of our kids sponsored. They're such amazing kids and they really deserve to have this opportunity. And uh, yeah, so if you guys are interested in sponsoring one of our remaining kids, please yeah. send us an email. We will link it in the description. It's dannyandbob at gmail.com. Yeah. We'll give you more information and pictures on the kids that are left. And uh, you'll yeah. join our sponsorship family. Guys, like we was saying that, it's really hot and they saw me how sweating I was. 
And in a second, look what is happening outside here. I mean, how did this happen? <laughs> I'm, we were sweating. We were so hot. And then we went inside the room for like five minutes to eat our leftover food. And, and I'm like, Bob, what is that noise? <laughs> you look how it's crazy. Good. What? It's raining like crazy. So at least, you know, we're collecting some rainwater. Let's push clothes for the kids. <laughs> and all the kids are in the back hiding from the rain. And we and, decided um, like, to take a little break because... We have to. Everything, they put it inside already now. Yeah. So we're waiting for it to get down. Yeah. So which is, you no know, seems like. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to give it like 10 more minutes and then we're going to try and think of a plan B. Maybe yeah. we can start like cooking the sauce or just doing something that can, you yeah. know. But, uh, Guys, this always happens. This I feel like this always happens, right? All the time. We always like have a plan for something, and then something else happens. Okay. And I was saying today, like we have to eat before it gets dark. Ooh, that is crazy. We're not gonna eat before it gets dark, guys. So we're doing good. <laughs> we're gonna update you guys soon whenever this rain decides Whoa, to stop. Whoa, you're even getting here. Oh, it's going inside. <laughs> we're gonna go and hide. So we're gonna and hide for we'll a while. We just wanna show you the switch it outside. Bye. Look where it's getting. Woo. Whoa. <laughs> you okay, Cod? <laughs> Hi, children. Can we sing the rain song? Okay. to slow down a bit as you can see and I'm in our kitchen with Sheffy say hi hi Sheffy's making the sauce that you saw us buy all the ingredients for at the market so we're gonna start with chopping up some onions we have three really big onions here we have green pepper all of this and then you're gonna cook it right in some oil yeah. add some seasoning yeah. we're gonna let it cool down and that's what we're gonna kind of brush on the shish kebab and also the mm -hmm. matoki. Do we have a brush? Mm -hmm. Then that's the problemo. Are you sure? I thought we had a brush here. Yeah, you know the one to use it for the cook eggs and bread. Yes, that one. The one we use for bread. So we do like a little egg that yeah, so we can wash that and use that. Alright, so if you're here, let's see. Oh hello. Hello. You finished the sing? Yes. <laughs> Hi Pamela. I love, that's actually the curtain rod that they've turned into a mop somehow, so that's interesting. Where's the barbecue? Yes, the barbecue, where is it, in the front? Yes. Mm. Oh, just a little drizzle of rain. It's fine. All right, so our barbecue is here. Where are we going to put it? There? Yes. Where are we putting the barbecue? There, so we need to move these tables. Is it clean? No. <laughs> so this barbecue was actually at Bob's mother's house because she was using it for something, I don't remember what, like a while back and we left it there. So I don't think it was clean. So we're going to have to deep clean this barbecue. <laughs> Look at these. Bosco, no, you're going to hurt yourself. Let the big boys do it. Oh! Okay, and this is why we let the big kids do it. All right, that's fine, don't worry. So here we have our masoke, but it's not enough, so we're probably gonna get some Irish potatoes, right? You wanna count how many we have? Yes, wait, me, me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, We're starting again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
All right, we've arrived back at the farm to pick up the goat. Let's see where it is. I think it's inside this bucket. Is the goat in there? All right, so we're gonna put that in the car. Where's Remy? Oh, hi, Remy. You hungry? <laughs> so before we go, we just wanted to show you the new piglets that were born. Uh, yes, when were they born, Ba? Yesterday? Uh, yesterday or the day before? No, they're here. Wait, wait, wait. Where? These ones? No, no, no. These were born. It's these ones. Where? Guys, we have so many pigs, we don't even know where they are. Here. Oh, these are this one. You see? Yeah, how many are they? Six. Oh, six three yeah. female, three male. And look, look how cute they look. They're super. I love the spots. Yeah. I love the spots. I don't know if you can see how little they are, but. And these are like what we call an, ex an exotic breed. An exotic breed? <laughs> <laughs> it's a pear tree. The, the mother is a pear tree blend and the father also. So these pigs are going to grow much faster than like the local pigs, yeah, which like is this, good. Like this one, okay, look how Yeah. Like these ones are huge. Guys, these were born like not even two weeks ago. So, as you can see, we have piglets here, 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 <laughs> here. Ooh, these ones are big. This mother pig here gives like really, really great piglets. Yeah. Even the last time. So, we are full at the pig farm, guys. So, we're. <laughs> it is really, really crazy busy here. Did you check it, Ba? How does it look? Yeah, so... Well, we'll hope for the best. We're hoping to get about 100 shish kebabs from this. Two each for the kids. So we're headed home now. And the rain has stopped, thank God, right? And look, look like in one second how things change. It's so hot again. Guys, this weather is so crazy. You never know what to expect. Right? Yeah. You know, since you know, since I came here. You don't, you don't know what happened in a second. I know. Like it can start raining in a minute too. Or there can be a rainbow. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen guys. So we have the, the goat. Uh, unfortunately we couldn't find more of the matoke. More of the um, plantain. So we're just going to get probably about 10 kilos of Irish. Yeah. And we're going to boil them just so we have a mix. And not everything is too like barbecue-y. <laughs> I feel like this always happens. Because when you reverse, it's time of still. Yeah. So. so now we're headed home and I'm ready to start cooking. It's about three o'clock. We're running yeah. out of time a bit, but. We're gonna try to yeah. make it. We're gonna try. Are you hungry, boys? I know Remy is. If you're Remy, was oh, Remy, here. Remy, Remy didn't eat, yeah. Let's hope they saved you a plate. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Georgie. Okay, now say hi. Baby, hi. Hi, so we've just now arrived at home from the farm to get the goat. And uh, as we said, we want to divide into the the boys and um, medium ones to be like uh, Baby. barbecuing Baby. the potatoes yesterday. Baby. Yes, and the one will be like putting the meat to the shake up stick. And uh, this is um, <laughs> making a sauce like to, to put a, on the meat to make a flavor. So as you can see here, we have Big Boss called Bed and Derek. They're now barbecuing the potatoes I mean Matoke I'm sorry <laughs> Matoke there are three in the groups and this group here we have Kevin uh, Claude and Remy yes chicken chicken it's a, it's a goat it's a goat Good. yes and uh, they are cutting into small so that it can be easiest to put in a just kebab steak those are the, the that's the sec second group and you have other group there which is Idris is making a sauce. Johnny, you know what sauce is? Yeah. Yes, this is making a sauce just here to make a flavor. Put it on my top and on the uh, meat on the top while they are about to get ready and change the color, become red and tasty. So we're gonna go there in the kitchen where Idris is. Um, Idris, show us what you made. Yeah. So this is the sauce that he has already made just to add on top of the meat and it can make a flavor. And this is gonna move on to the front because his duty here is already finished. 
So we have to move on the front there to helping about the meat and potatoes. And I'm gonna be chilling with Johnny a bit and uh, come back when the first one of, the, of um, Matoke is ready. Right, Johnny? Yeah. Look, look at this. It's just a leg. You'll see how huge it is. And this boy is the way they're making it. Look, the, the first leg, how they did it. <laughs> it's just a bone remain. You can't even know if there is a meat on it or not. So that's arm, the one Driss has in the hand. And the Iberis came to help with uh, Kevin to cut it into small pieces. So we forgot to buy the shish kebab stick on the way, but now we sent someone. That's what I, that's gonna be the next thing we'll be doing. And of course here all these like waiting. <laughs> you need to be careful of that bun. <laughs> and here, this is how we go. This is how we do it. Like you can see the different of the this this side was in bottom like in minutes ago. And look, this one I was the top one. How it looks. So that's how we do that. What we do, we put some a little bit oil on them, so just to make it no burn. Cause when there's no there's no oil in it, it burn. And this oil we put here make it helps them to stay like wet and slide, and it doesn't get burned. This is how we do. So we have this one there. We have this one here, and we have another one over there. And uh, we want to send someone, of course, to get the potatoes because, you know, this matoka is not going to be enough for all of us and all the kids. So, heading back, see what the other one is doing. Because there was, like, sitting, maybe you can, can give them, like, a speaker, make dance after the, after, back there. Obed, what are you doing? I'm just bringing the, the matoka. Oh, now I forgot. Now I remember. So, Obed is the one in charge of barbecue. Just barbecue the matoke. Okay. And uh, these are the small ones they are sitting. Who wants music? Me! Who wants some music? All of us! Oh, I see. All right, all right. We're doing good. Obed is on the barbecue. Let's see first the barbecue. Let's see what's going on. Is this the first round? You've already done a first round? Oh, look at that! Oh, we're doing very well. So this is the matoke. And over here we have the goat. So we have the shish kebab. Shefi's already doing that. Don't forget to count them. And we're just finishing up the meat over here. And then we're going to save these bones and we're going to make, what is it called? The one you do together with the cassava leaves. Is there a name for it? Huh? So, okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So tomorrow night, we're saving all the bones from the goat and we boil it together with like cassava leaves and rice and make like a nice meal. So it's kind of like a two in one. So guys, how many shish kebab sticks do you think we're gonna, oh! <laughs> the water was dripping on me here. How many sticks do you think we're gonna get? Hmm? Huh? How many sticks? 70. 70? Really? 70. Seventy or fifty? How can you get from seventy to fifty? It's because Shafi's making like huge shish kebab sticks. When you buy this in a restaurant, you get like two and a half pieces. All right. Well, at least one nice piece each will be good, and maybe you big boys can get an extra one. But we'll see. All right. Good job. Good job. We're moving along quickly. We still have Matoki here. Why don't you bring this next to a bed? Can help him. Bring the matoki and bring it next to him. Let's go and see where Bob is. Mr. Bob! Yes. Nana. No. Hey. Isaac, call Bob. Say Bob! Bob! Call Bob. Say Bob! <laughs> oh, look! Joe! What are you doing? Are you eating a lollipop? What are you eating? I'm just sitting in my mom. Oh, oh, she looks so beautiful. Hello. She <laughs> oh, she don't how are look. you? She eats. <laughs> is she going to a wedding or something? She no. looks like all dressed up. She's just coming to visit her. Family. All right. And to eat some shish kebab? Of course. She, Why don't ready. we come inside? Yeah, she was about because I would just... Joe, you see Mama Bob? Say Mama Bob. Babu Mami. Babu Mami. <laughs> <laughs> Say Papa Johnny. 
Johnny. Baba Johnny. Baba Johnny. Say Mama Johnny. Mama Johnny. Mama Johnny. Okay. All right, let's go inside. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. Nana, can you say Bob? Say Ba. Say Ba. We're working on it. Did you see how far they're coming? Yeah. They're working fast. The last time I was doing that, it was like cutting it into, yeah. but now they started putting it into the shrub stick. And the sun is shining. <laughs> and uh, put the potatoes, I mean, uh, matoke. Sorry guys, yeah. I keep saying potatoes because I really- Because we gotta get potatoes. And it's a long time though, we're yeah. not eating this plantain, so. I know. And it's like coming. It's been really, really a long time. Yeah. No, 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 don't eat that. Ew. And uh, we are like about to finish, yeah. Yeah. And after this, we should walk time. Yeah, so guys, we are getting pretty hungry. Yeah. Nana, are you gonna eat shish kebab? No. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna come back when food is ready. <laughs> Could you even imagine that it was like raining an hour ago? Now I'm telling you, the weather is. here is just crazy. Mm -hmm. All right, it is about 6.30. We're gonna put a movie on for the kids. Claude, are you getting the TV? You're getting the TV? You can put my coffee on the table, it's fine. And uh, Joni, Joni, you wanna watch a movie? What movie you want? You want Baby Shaka? Sing Baby Shaka Shaka. Baby Shaka Shaka. Baby Shaka Shaka. Yay! Children, what movie do you want? Captain America. Superman. Okay, Joffrey wants Superman. Okay. Claude brought the TV. So Claude, I think we're gonna try and find Superman. So usually what we do is we let the little kids choose the first movie, and then when they start getting tired, we let the big kids choose the second movie. So today is a Saturday. They don't have school tomorrow. They didn't have school today. So we let them stay up a little bit later than usual. That's where they are. And over here we have, oh, Shema. Wow, look at you. Do you know how many shish kebab we have? Did you count? Four. No, shish kebab. We should, 60? You forgot? That's okay, we can count them again. So now he's just doing like the internal meat and stuff like that. So we really use pretty much all of the meat, all of the goat. So Claude is setting up the movie right now. Mama Bob is here visiting. Hi! <laughs> and it's just a fun night. So hopefully we'll have the meat started cooking soon. I'm going to go to the side because it's so loud. But guys, as you know, from the rain and everything, we had quite a delay. Uh, obviously we couldn't like barbecue in the rain. So we're not gonna have the food ready before it gets dark, but we will have the food ready probably in about an hour and a half, worst case scenario. So they'll eat before eight, and that's okay, because it's a weekend. Hi. Hi, Bosco. Are you excited to eat meat? Yes. Yes? What's your favorite thing to eat? Mm, meat. What kind of meat? Goat, or a cow, or a pig, or a chicken? Goat. Goat? Well, that's good because we're eating that tonight. So the kids are watching a movie and over here we have Eric on the barbecue. It's a little bit dark, you can't see much, but we have most of the shish kebabs here. Peeling some plantain. More shish kebabs over here. And we should be done in about half an hour. What do you say, boys? Half an hour? Yeah. Alright, that sounds good. Babi! Yeah. Babi! Why are you sitting alone watching the movie? Because <laughs> I want them to see in the front and yeah. I can never call them. So. I don't even know what this is. I think it's like Shark Boy, Lava Girl, or something. <laughs> they wanted Marvel, but we couldn't find too much on Netflix, so. Uh, yeah. I don't know, you can't see no, too much of the kids, but. Let's watch a movie that the boy who harnessed the wind. Oh, that's a good movie. Okay, we're gonna watch that. Thank you, Bob. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna put that movie on for the kids. It's something we've been wanting to show them for a while, and I think it should be inspiring for them, right? Yeah. It's about a boy who like invented some form of electricity with a bicycle wheel, 
when there was a famine and a drought. What country was it in? Uh, I don't remember. Nigeria, maybe? Oh, yeah, something like that. A big African country, not like us. <laughs> So the movie was saying they were going to watch, then it was saying from the country <laughs> that is like a big country. But as you can see there, it, it I mean it's the Marawi in 2001. So it was well, it was in dry season though. That's what I'm talking about. And the boy harnessed the the wind using like a pump on his dad's bicycles, and they get water. So that's why movies like yeah. depend like it's because the child was obsessed with the chemistry things. Yeah. That's how he yeah. get to. I mean, to, to, to make it and make, make all the community have the water. Yeah, it's a great movie for those of you who haven't seen it. And the, and the funny thing is, he never went to school because it was like, send him away all the time because there's no school fees. And all he does, he had one of the friends that like, helped him to go just read in, in library. And he get to know that. So it's really just a movie. Could be, I'm so sorry, I'm eating a shish kebab. It's, it's really a nice movie this for is the something kids. something that could be relatable to a lot of the children, and I hope. I'm excited to see that reaction to this movie. They're already very interested. <laughs> Look how they are. Even the little one that's sitting in the front. And guys, this shish kebab. So we're going, we're going we to... tried one to make sure it was okay. <laughs> and it was, and is, mm. amazing. <laughs> so we're going to stay here, watch the movie, and after we're going to ask them what they learned from the movie, just to make sure they just they, they, they didn't watch just for free. Yeah. Just learn something from that. So let's enjoy and we'll see you guys. <laughs> We couldn't find any uh, Irish potato close to us, so we just decided to make rice. We bought some rice, and I think that's really a good option. Yeah. Yeah, it's filling, it's good. So we did a few kilos of rice. And they and want, and, and don't have enough, so. Plantain and the shish kebab and everything's great. So the kids are all here. That movie was amazing. Yeah, the movie was the amazing. Movie. Yeah. And I really hope that the children understood the movie because. It's such a powerful movie. Yeah, it has, it has a lot a of movie. like lessons people like, can learn. Yeah, I was standing for the last 20 minutes just standing and just like crying. It's actually based on physics, like yeah. how you can control the yeah. wind, like, yeah. things like that. So. Yeah, and I, I, some of the kids were like really, really focused on the movie and I hope that... Especially at the end. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. So yeah, guys, we're just going to kind of put the food on the plate, on the other get it all organized, there. feed the kids. It's probably about like 8.30-ish. Yeah. Obviously, it's later than we want it to be, but as you guys know, when we want to do like a nice meal like this, you can never plan for anything. If the rain didn't happen, we'd be already done eating by yeah. now, but you never know what's going to happen. It's luckily a Saturday. That's why we do things on a Saturday like yeah. this. There's no school tomorrow, so it's really okay. So we're just setting up all the plates. The kids are going to eat. And they're going to enjoy that. We already fed the nursery children. We still have a few more. We're just finishing up the plates, so now we're going to feed like the three remaining nursery and... The media, right? Yeah. Okay, where's the remaining nursery plate? The three here in the front. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. One more remain. So what we're going to do is, we don't know exactly how many shish kebabs we have, but they're hungry. So we're going to give them each one, and depending on how many we have left, we'll probably just give them another one after. So that's yeah. what we're going to do. All right, let me do it. And who didn't get? Everyone got? Oh, no, Kevin didn't. Eric didn't. Okay, come if you didn't get. As you can see, our calculations were a little bit off. Oh, there's so more there. Yeah. So we just wanted to make sure everyone got. So we're going to give each kid now another one. You can follow me. All right. Here you go. You're welcome. You're welcome. Kevin. Oh, you don't need me, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Kevin doesn't need me. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome, little man. I'm gonna give to everyone. Don't worry. Who didn't get Emmett? Did you get another one? Yes, yeah, he you got. got you got another one. Me. Yeah. I'm gonna give to everyone. Don't worry. Oh, I'm let's get the other one. Alright, who didn't 
and get? Jennifer. Noella. And Jennifer. Jennifer. Eddie. Yeah, Rachel. Fabrice. Everyone got? No. Who? Oh, Fabrice didn't get. There you go. There we go. Everyone got. Thank God. Hallelujah. And we have some extra plates. Is that for the stuff that didn't come to take? Yeah, they have security, so I need to give them more. All right, so everyone is eating, Bob. This is wonderful. Okay. And we already had har, our shish kebab. So. Okay, so guys, like as you can see now, what our kids are eating. Thank you so so much to everyone that supports us and makes this possible for our kids and for us. These are the best kinds of nights we could ask for. Thank you so much, guys. So really, really, really appreciate. It. Watch the rest of the movie with the kids. Yeah. yeah. And tomorrow we have a brand new day. We're going to visit Thomas's grandmother. If you didn't notice, Thomas is not here. He's staying with his grandmother tonight. Tomorrow we're gonna go and meet Thomas at his grandmother's house. Sorry if it's a little bit loud, the kids are talking. And we're gonna just give her a few gifts that we've collected from you guys as donations. Yeah. And it's just gonna be a great video. So guys, thank you so much for spending the whole day with us. It's never as we planned, but it's always Amazing, worth it. yeah. So and amazing to all you guys. Stay tuned for our next videos. See you guys. Good night. <laughs>